have sniped her ass. <laughs> Think about it. If there are little kids running around, <laughs> you wouldn't be paying attention to Whoopi Goldberg. You wouldn't have time for her stuff. I mean, yes. you never listen to what I'm saying. Finally! Because he, I wanted to say it, but obviously there's a lot of Skepta fans out there, so I was like... No, like Skepta, Skepta did came out as well. Just in your bed, like a dickhead. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, big man ting. And jeez. But all right, 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 all right. Yo, my people, welcome back to another episode of the Out Cheer Podcast. I'm your host, Jay today, so. Am I with someone today? Who knows? Wait, wait, wait. Who knows? But why would you... <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> why would you Who start? Knows? Wait, why would you start when I was just Bro, finishing up? You, you know there's a booking at 4.30. <laughs> <clears throat> it's mid-MB. What were we saying? I was... Uh, uh, no. Allegedly, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't see it for a good time. No, no, I was, I, was, I was enjoying the bagel still. What were you guys saying, man? It's been a good week, you know. Thank you. It's been a good week. Is it not? Not really for me, but... Why not for you? Life has been life. <laughs> <laughs> Deadlines have been deadlined and everything's you, been you everything. Trying, trying to get into that or...? No, nah, not really. Not really. It's not really um, something I want to get into right now. Fair enough. Maybe one day we'll have like university versus uni. <laughs> 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 the pains of that. I hear that, man. But uh, nah, yeah, it's been beating my ass, but... <laughs> We're here, man. We're here. Oh, thank God. All right, but you know what is here? Yeah? Why has it been a good week for you? Why has it been a good week? Yeah. Healthy, isn't it? Well, healthier yeah. than I was on Tuesday. I was oh. I was in the gutter on Tuesday, bro. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I, what happened? I left work early, bro. Damn. I didn't even have energy. <laughs> you know me, like, I, it's like, I don't talk a lot, but when I'm with my people, mm. I'll search, like, bro, when I say on, like, on Tuesday at work, I was like a zombie. Damn. My colleague was like, like, why are you so quiet today? I was like, listen, man, my eyes were doing, like, <laughs> this dancing. I was out of it. I left at 2 o'clock as soon as I got home on the bed. I didn't wake up until 6. Uh, that Those four-hour ones, that's how you know you need to recover. Bro, it was mad. And you know those you sleep at, like, 10 as well. It's not because you're just, like, tired, tired. I slept. I think I slept. So, I think it was fatigue. That's what it was at first. Bro. And then it kind of developed into a cold. Oh, okay. But it was just, it was mad, bro. The day after, I said, I'm working from home. Did I do any work? I was in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep. I, after I done my meetings, in and out of sleep, in and out of sleep. I said, oh my goodness, this is crazy. Sleep is really just taking over my life. Do you know what it is? I've realised, like, because <laughs> we have so much work to do, if I'm sleeping, I can't do anything fun. So now I'm just contemplating, do I want to sleep right now or do I want to watch TV? Don't even say Do I want to sleep right now or do I want to play a game? Do I want to sleep right now or go out? like? Bro, do not even say fun to me. I missed J5's concert on Wednesday. And Huss was there. No, no, yeah, let's talk about Let's get into that. Oh that, my God. That was hilarious. Ah. That video is hilarious. Bro, bear in mind, you know I bought the tickets in January. Like early Oh, January. you had tickets? I had tickets. Oh. Bro, I had tickets. I thought you just lacked. You no, 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 no. Bro, it was £20. Thing is, yeah. What day was it? When they the what um twenty second? Thing is, I was gonna shout you when I bought it, but I was like, this guy has deadlines running right for and sure. And I have work. <laughs> <That's what laughs> yeah. But do you know what it is? If I have risked it, bro, I I would have bro. I can't lie. I was so close to risking it. I was, it as well, I was supposed to go with Tyron and some mm. other people in it. Um, some people that we both know. So, I Tyron messaged me. I was like, oh, let me know if you're still going because you sound like you're a bit sick. Da, da, da. Yeah. I said, yeah, no, I'll let you know. I'll just sleep it off. Yo, take some medicine. I'll be all right. Bro, why did I wake up at five? Bear in mind, doors opened at what? Like seven? Mm. So we were going to meet at six. Mm. Do a bit of like pre-drink and yeah. whatever. It was five something. It's in Camden. Yeah. And I woke up, I said, yeah, Tyron. Bro, even my voice, I was sounding deeper than Bruce Wayne, fam. <laughs> it was mad. I was like, yo, Tyron, yeah, no, I'm, I'm not rolling. I'm not rolling. And she's like, well, it's a bit late to say that. Yeah, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I'm already drunk. <laughs> Bro, <should've just> been... <laughs> nah, literally. But um, I said, enjoy it or let me know how it goes. And I wish I never said that because afterwards she sent me videos, sent me videos of j Hus vibing. She was actually quite close to the to the front as mm. well. And they were just performing. Like The composers were there, bro. Oh, is it? Yeah, so Biggs and them man were there. Uh, and then yeah. NSG came out as well. Just in your bed like a dickhead. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> No, nah, <laughs> big man ting. And it is, yeah, I wanted to go because it was like, this is his first concert mm. where it's just him. Yeah. And I was like, if it's J5 and Friends, one of the two are at least showing up and performing, NSG or J-Hus. Yeah. 
because I was like the the songs that he's made for them the hits crazy, but um, yeah man, I was just lying down, lifeless. And then when she sent me the, I just said ding ding ding, the little I message thing. Yeah. I saw the snaps. I said, oh man, the crowd was vibey. It wasn't even like a like too many people. Mm. Yeah, it looked like a looked like my type of concert. I'll be real. Mm? So it looked like my type of concert, but. Mm. It's a damn show you couldn't make it. Kind of like a little intimate thing. Yeah. Bro, it was nice, man. It, well, from the, I think it was nice. <laughs> it looked nice. From Bird's Eye View. <laughs> yeah, man, from POV. But don't uh, you think it was weird that Huss didn't, like, go to perform his own songs? Because I saw, like, six snaps, and it was six different J Huss songs. And you can see him piping up. Mm, and he's doing all of that. Yeah, yeah but, yeah, like, yeah. bro, come down and perform your songs. Because <laughs> like. I see Bay five with the microphone, I'm thinking, yeah, that's cute. But Huss is actually... In, <laughs> it's not like... You know there was where Huss would be, like, somewhere else, mm. but it would be, like... It's like, I know it's your concert and all, but my nigga's over there, yeah, like, so bring him down. And I'm sure it would be hard to, like, figure it out, like... No, I mean, it's not hard to figure it out. You're just like, all right, I'm going to play this tune. Yeah. Do your thing. <laughs> we'll just give him the track list you're about to play. Like, Yeah, I know, but I think, I don't know, man. Obviously, at the same time, it's like, I didn't come to work. I came to vibe. <laughs> don't tell me. Exactly. Oh. I mean, maybe if you jumped on stage and did one tune. Yeah, like, what, like, at least one. Like, come on. In fact, no, in fact, no. That would have broke the internet. It's like. good. It's a good thing you didn't do it. Because if, if yeah, he had and I wasn't there, I... That would have been severe pain. I'll turn up to the venue the next day. I'll be like, bring him back. Bring everyone back right now. <laughs> That's said everything. Nah. It looked good, though. It'll, it'll be up there with, like, when um, they pay... How much did people pay? Like, seven Drake pounds. Drake Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, that's the biggest, like... One you know, of the biggest, like... You know mad? It wasn't even an 18-plus venue. <sighs> because people in my year were going to that. Oh, my God. It's not like Section Boys, you didn't like that. Every Section Boys are banging. Exactly, so you would have enjoyed that. And then they brought... A oh, gosh. You know, it's, no, 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 it's good. It's good that wasn't a moment like that. Because if it was, I would have written to J-Hus personally. Yeah. I would have said militancy. <laughs> the thing, fam. I would have said it. Oh, man. Nah, yeah. That was a serious mess. Hopefully you do another one and he actually performs. Yeah, because I said I'm going to go... I'm even going to Chris Brown, you know? Okay. You go? You go? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Why hell no? I'm not paying for Chris Brown tickets. I don't like him that much. <sighs> Niggas. Nah, man. I would never go to a Chris Brown show, man. Never. I mean, if he's like, if he's at wireless or like Afro Nation. He'll probably be at wireless. He'll probably be at wireless. If he's at one of those, I'll 100% stay and enjoy the music, but... You really pay, pay see him? Too? Why? Nah. He's a performer. Yeah, he is, he is, he is, but he's not really... I don't really like him like that. Why? Same way a lot of people wouldn't go to watch Kendrick. Oh, okay, I hear. Eh, I, I wouldn't go to watch Kendrick. I wouldn't go to watch Kendrick off the last album, but if it was like Damn or Good Kid Man City, I'll go to watch it. Okay, for, oh, you're saying, are you basing it off of like his last album, whatever? Yeah. Because yeah. he, what he's doing now is a, it's like a, he's taking you through a journey through time because obviously he hasn't been here in 10 years. Yeah. yeah so he's performing a lot of his old bangers as mm. well, like Loyal, mm. um, all them teams. Yeah, I was seeing the snaps. Times. It was mostly old song. It wasn't really. Yeah. But so still, I'm not. I don't know. Because I, I don't think in a lot of these he's performed any of his really new stuff. To be honest, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Why is that interesting? Because no, his new stuff isn't. You know, his new stuff is all right. Yeah, but the new tape was all right. It got Grammy nominated. Yeah, but even Drake should have won though. Can't even lie. when, no. even when over, over Robert Glasper's. Yeah, but that he he was disrespecting him. No, no, no. Just so because you're not familiar with something's game, someone's game doesn't mean you. No, but you I kind of get what. You, no, the thing is, because he he flames them, and yeah. I was like, "Yo, Chris, <laughs> chill." <laughs> but then he said something. I'm gonna check the nominees. He said something the next okay. day, and he was like, "What he was saying was that, in terms of R and B, who is this guy? Because his music isn't R and B." And I was like, mm, "This kind of sounds like Chris is trying to backtrack." But then I went to go listen to the tape, yeah. And even on every single, I know some streaming platforms get it mm. wrong in terms of genres for music, but I even went on to the to the genre of music for what um, Black Radio Album Three was, I think that's what it's called, and it's not really R and B. It's Wait, more say like that, say that last bit again, sorry. I said I went on to listen to the album. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it's not really R and B. Yeah. It's more like jazz soul vibes. Do you get it? Yeah, but a lot of with things, a, with a dash of R and B. But a lot of things aren't really R and B though. And and that's that's why like Chris Brown's album is like a hip hop album, and then there's like four. It's like it's like hip hop R and B. But I, I think I yeah, think but there's like four R and B songs on there. Do you know it is? Like, like in the end, he starts shoving the R and B it's, it's, songs. It's half hip hop and half R and B, basically. Not even half. I'll say like seventy percent. Sixty forty. I'll say 60, 65, 35. So like that. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. around around there. I'll give you that. But but, uh, um, I get I get what you mean, but I think it's because nowadays there's so much blending that anything could just Yeah, so well, how can you complain if No, but I'm saying yeah, that that's what I'm saying. Like, it's I, a bit I, weird, isn't it? That's why I said that at first when I when he said that, I thought he was just like trying to cover up his tracks or whatever. Mm. But I was like, okay, I get what he's trying to say, but uh, I just don't think he's putting up like <coughs> music that he should be that proud of that he should be saying, yeah, I deserve a thing over people. I opinion. mean, in terms of the nominees, I can't even remember. Who I'm trying to find it, but people keep showing me rap. Like, No, exactly. That's what I'm saying. There was a lot of rap. And there was a lot of, like, I think Harry didn't even two Grammys. Harry Styles won over Beyonce. Do you think he should have, people should be complaining about that? I think a lot of people complain because one, Beyonce is black. Yeah. And they She's are, been snubbed a lot in terms of that. Separate, yeah, but um, I mean, Beyonce's album was very good, though. Yeah, it was very good. Harry Styles' album, I've listened to it once, and I was like, okay, I this haven't is, listened to it, but it's actually kind of no, it's actually it's actually kind of good. I'm not gonna lie to you, mm. it's better than Beyonce's. Maybe not. I think I've listened to Beyonce's way more than I've listened to Harry yeah. Styles, so that's why I'm saying maybe not. But I don't know, man. If we're talking best album, though, it's not just about. Like, we're black, so I'm trying to think as a white per like, with a white person... How would it translate across yeah, other... Exactly, because yeah, 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 we're not just looking at, like, best hip-hop, because if it's best hip-hop, I get why Kendrick won his, uh, his Grammy, because that was... Who do you think should have won it? Because I think it was him, it was Jack Harlow, it was Future, yeah, right? Yeah. It was K DJ, Khaled. DJ Khaled. DJ Khaled's album was better than Kendrick's, though, in terms of hip-hop. I think it was better than Kendrick's. Future's album mm. was maybe on par with Kendrick's. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is because you, it's very easy to get gassed over songs like Wait For You, Puffin' mm -hmm. On Zooties, or even Love You Better. Mm -hmm. But a song towards the end was just kind of dead. Yeah. So that's why I was like, mm, it's, I think it's probably a bit better than Kendrick's, but not by that much. Yeah, I think uh, like, as a concept album, if you're ranking it just on it being a concept album about therapy, mm -hmm. it's like probably an 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Okay. If you're doing the general landscape of music, I get what you're saying about comparing it to Futures. Because I don't think that Future album was like... I'm going back and listening to a lot of songs and I'm enjoying them. But I'm like, I'm if he didn't to... win, I was like, okay. Yeah, I'm not, but, but I think DJ Khaled's was very good, though. But you know, it's because DJ Khaled's getting memed so much now. Like People are getting tired of him, specifically. No, but like, Whenever people diss <clears> that album, they never say, oh, Jay-Z didn't really turn up. Or our uh, Quaver's song was shit. Or Bro, da, 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 da. all the songs were good. Even the songs with um, City Girls and what yeah, is it? Yeah, lot of... I want my hair done. Yeah, that song yeah. was good. I can't lie, bro. What? Yeah, that song was very really good. I'd be feeling a little zesty in the whip when I was singing that to you, bro. That scene is wavy. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? But yeah, there was a lot of tunes on there that were... I'll say the height of it, I didn't really like God did at Why? the time. I don't, I don't really is it because everyone was hyping about it? Yeah, I don't think it's like a top... People are like, it's a top 10 Jay-Z verse, top 10 Jay-Z feature I, I'm verse. not going to lie to you, the da, da, verse da, da, da. was cold, though. The verse was cold. Yeah, it was good, but... Rick Ross's verse was good, should have been longer, but obviously, with, yeah. the, with however long Jay-Z took, it can't. you can't make a 10-minute song like I, that. I would listen to it, but... No, I would listen to it, but I'm saying for the, for the like, for Gen Pop. Did you get it? Yeah, but Gen Pop won't really listen to that song like that. Mm, I guess you got a point there. But yeah, I, all the verses were good. Even Lil Wayne's was right, like... Yeah. It, it, the album, and then he had a uh, beautiful with scissor. Yeah, you see, yeah, that song, that song's a ten out of ten. You know when he said on, um, I think it was the album Grateful, mm. and he was like, "Oh, just us." When they did a little sample yeah. for um, Outcast, I think. DJ Khaled was like, "This is what an angel sound like." He's not wrong. Mm -hmm. He's not wrong. Scissor's talented. Man. Scissor is wow. Did that album come out this year? Yeah. Yeah, that's new song. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did <laughs> I tell you? <laughs> when I say I've been back in that song. Yeah. What? No, nah, there's, there's a cut. And she did her her intros, um, champagne poetry. Like yeah, the same song. yeah, yeah. I think I was was like, it Kill Bill or something like that, or I think that's what it's called, or something, like some, something along those lines. But yeah, there's a lot of good songs in there. There, there's one where she's rapping, and I don't really like when R and B artists rap, but nah. But she did okay though. Like her, but it was like a minute and thirty seconds. Like, oh yeah, sorry. So Kill Bill is the second song. SOS is the intro. That's yeah, SOS is hard. So yeah, like I really, really. Nah, that really album. It. But I've really sat with that and listened to it like back to back to yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a very good album. Yeah, she makes quality music, and it's weird because actually before you get before you get any yeah, further, sorry. 
Guys, if you're on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe, yeah? Drink, oh, yeah. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 1K very, very soon. Hopefully by summer, so then we can, you know, start putting out some some more content. Because, mm. listen, when I say summer's going to be a mad thing, summer's going to be a mad thing. Yeah. Like, when well, you're done with uni, innit? Yeah. I'm free. done with uni. We're free from the shackles <laughs> of university. So, literally expect a lot more content and a lot of better content as well. I mean, I'd say we are given... Yeah, we're doing good right now. We're doing good. We can, but do we can do better. Exactly. Yeah. And summer, hey, summer 23, Jordan year, yeah, come on, it's going to go off. Come so on. make sure you guys like, subscribe, and click that little notification bell to let you know whenever we upload shorts, videos, whatever. But um, yeah, a lot of good music's come out, you know. Yeah. A lot of good music has come out. Um, do you want to continue on that or should we go on to like, some hit blunts? Um... Cause I've I've got a I've got a decent hit blunt, you know. Yeah, go for your hit blunt. Baby. I thought about I thought about this the other day, yeah. So um, cool. So you saw you see like when you start smiling, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you see like you see like in Christianity or like um Catholicism, yeah. nuns are like to be seen as like the most devout whatever. Do you know what I mean? In terms of like their community, it's like their what the men first call not monks. Yeah, 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 monks or whatever. Yeah. Is that in Christianity though? I mean, you can have Christian monks. They're not priests, but it's like... Remember, they're called something. Christian. Yeah, so continue. Yeah, so, yeah. nuns, yeah. You get what I'm saying in terms of mm. they're supposed to be like respected and be like, oh, they're the most holy and all that sort of stuff because they devote their lives to Christ, isn't it? Mm. But technically, wouldn't they actually be deemed as the opposite because Christ said, go forth and populate and, you know spread the word across many nations and, you know, birth children and da 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 But they said, nah, I, mm, I'm going to devote my life to you and I'm not going to have kids. So isn't that a bit of a contradiction over there? So I send them for monks now. I ain't sending for monks. And nuns. Sorry. I'm just saying. You're sending for nuns. I'm not sending for nuns. I'm just saying. Because of their abstinence. It's a bit sus. It's a bit sus. That's crazy. How's that crazy? <laughs> That's crazy. It's a bit I, sus. I get what you're saying, but I don't think we have a problem with like spreading kids around. No, nah, like I, you can't diss envy a young boy and then pray like this. <laughs> 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 so you think envy no. young boys do the Lord's work more than nuns? That's crazy. No, he's not. He's not. That is insane. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. I'm just saying. I mean, he has enough kids for the nuns that don't have kids. Think do about you know it. Do you know how many nuns there are, bro? Do you know how many nunneries there are? In, in do you know how many kids he's about to have? Bro, he's, all 20, I'm saying he's, he's 22 putting up Jordan numbers, bro. Listen, all I'm saying is, yeah, for all the nuns that are there, I'm not even trying to say, like, are oh, you nuns, like, mm. you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to invalidate your thing. All I'm saying is, bro, like, go have a eat or something, innit? Like, you'll still be doing the Lord's work. No, but they've devoted their life to Christ. But then isn't that a I don't think there's that many nuns. What do you mean? Like they, they, have the, they have their own house in that. No, but I'm saying there isn't that many nuns where it's a problem for like the world. I'm not saying it's a problem for the world. We're not underpopulated. Like I they don't say, need to. Like, I don't say there's there isn't there's a, enough women out there for like the nuns to like chill out. You know what do you mean? To not have to have kids. Like we don't need kids like that bad. No, I know. I'm not saying it's a shortage of people. But what I'm saying is that you're saying you're devoting your life to Christ. Yeah, they are devoting their life to Christ. You're not having kids. Yeah, so but isn't that a bit of a... The kids thing isn't the most important thing, is I didn't it? say it's the most, most important thing, but... Well, I wouldn't even say it's top 10, really. <laughs> Be real with yourself. Come on. What, what is top 10? <laughs> I, I don't know, but I want to say kids are like... We don't have to have kids. Like, you can live like a Why? good life under... You can live a great life and not have kids. Oh, no, I'm not saying that you can't. Well, you could go to heaven without having kids. It's not really... Yeah, like... I know. I know, but I'm just saying like... Come on, man. Like what? You got to see it through. Right. You can't. I don't know. I don't. I don't really get that one. I'll be I'm <laughs> just saying. It was. It was a thought that popped into my. It was literally a shower thought. You know. I can't even remember why none. I think I was watching. I think I was remember the sister act, something like that. I can't mm. remember. Yeah, but like, imagine if there were kids in that film. I mean, there are. No, but like, which one? Sister act. Two. No, I mean the first one. Okay. When they're taken care of. Mm-hmm. What's her name again? Oh, uh, the black woman. Yeah. Yeah. When they take care of her, mm-hmm. imagine if there were kids just running around. They would have sniped her ass. <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. If there are little kids running around, <laughs> you wouldn't be paying attention to Whoopi Goldberg. You wouldn't have time for her stuff. I mean, you never know because... No, you know. No, you don't know because they're not there. What? 
Just say, just say you saw a nun you found attractive. You want to chat to her? I've never seen a nun in real life. Okay. I've never seen one in real life. Yeah, so I don't even know where they spawn. No, they spawn. They choose the life. <laughs> or did the life choose them? You have to ask them. Exactly. Are there any nuns that want to come on the podcast? We should get a nun on here. Yeah, you can find her. I'm not finding her. Why am I finding her? I'm not sending her this clip and then she's gunning for me. Yeah. But she wouldn't be gunning for you. Otherwise, she shouldn't be a nun. I don't know. Turn the other cheek. If you took any offence. A lie? <laughs> no. Nah, you're basically saying be a dickhead. That's what you're saying. I'm <laughs> That's what you're saying. I'm you're dissing saying her way of life. You're telling I'm her not dissing her way of life. I am. You're ex- telling her if she does have kids, she's not really serving Christ like that. I, I didn't say that. I was basically just putting it under a microscope. I'm just like, right, I've never really deeped it. Like, that's kind of mad. You get it? I don't know. I disagree with that. I can disagree, bro. Because you could apply that same logic to, like, people who abstain until marriage. Kind mm. of, but not really, though. No, that's not the same. Hey, it's not the same. Because they're going to get on one of these days. Yeah, but what if they don't ever get married? Then, so, go. some people don't get married. Some nuns don't have sex. No, all nuns don't have sex. Well, I mean, all good nuns don't, but, you know. Games Actually, to be honest, I was watching this telenovela and this nun was... We need to freed it up, let's bro. Get, let's get off She was freed it up. It was let's crazy. get off this topic. Because <laughs> I don't know... Like, what, Spanish TV is crazy, I don't bro. know why you chose violence against us Bro, today. it was crazy. You should have seen it. Nah, I feel like that would send me straight, straight down under when I went talking Australia. Uh, cool. <laughs> My first bit blunt is uh, go on. Siri or Katana should say um or uh instead of showing a buffer animation. You know, there's something one moment. No, that's annoying though. No, but let's go. Uh. No, because if I'm like, if I'm like, oh, like Katana, tell me how long it's going to take me to get home. And it's like, one moment, uh, fucking. Hell, uh, I just gonna say <laughs> no. I'm like, shut up, man. Just calculate. No, ra- back. I would rather that than just one moment. Give me one second. That's like, no, because it's just like one moment. Because right, cool. it's meant to simulate like what humans do. So. Yeah, exactly. So imagine you're talking to someone and then and you're like, look, say Siri's a real person. Siri, how long is it gonna take me to get home? Yeah, one moment. Tap 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 tap. No, but one pe- moment. One moment. Real people go. Um, give me one second. Yeah, same, it's the same thing. One moment, one second. No, nah, roughly it's just... Uh, it won't be like three seconds. What if you have slow internet? That's what you it's, mean. It's Get even. your gigabytes <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> nah, <laughs> man, that won't work. That would be hella annoying. I hear what you're saying, but it would mm, be very annoying, man. Be more realistic, man. Yeah, probably. That is one fake reality. Let's get some realism in here. Whatever, man. <laughs> All right, cool. The second one is... Um, a guy can decline an invitation by saying his girlfriend won't let him go, and everyone will like likely understand. But if a girl declines an invitation by saying her boyfriend won't let her go, people will likely be concerned. Mm. Why? Society. <laughs> no, what? Like, <laughs> no, I was I thinking c- about it. I was like, if like <clears throat> the man that were going out, and I was like, oh no, my girl said I can't go out. You're not going to think she's abusive. I think she's you, abusive. Yeah, she's abusive to you. you. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> what no that people will think that she's abusive. What? Nigga, people I'm... will think like, oh, that's how girls get sometimes. Nah, man. She doesn't like, trust why you, she... I'm going out with nah, why is she? Why is she like putting a cap on your enjoyment, bruv? That's not some people are. Nah, that's, that's mental abuse. That's psychological <sighs> warfare. <laughs> <laughs> it's psychological warfare, bro. Can't do that. Either way. But, but I get what you're saying though because it's more like a thing when, when like it's, it's more socially acceptable for your girl to say yeah like oh the missus yeah, 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 yeah. I hear that but I think when it comes to when it's the other way round and I'm not saying this is how it is I'm just saying like I'm going off of movies mm. but it's usually because the woman is just like in some sort of abusive controlling environment yeah. that's why it's a problem and yeah. it's like she says this all the time Yeah, maybe we should go check up on her and then when you go it's like four coloured girls bro you just, it's not, it's not the right environment. That's yeah. probably a bad reference, but it's not the right environment. Yes, yes. You got what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. Yeah, it's sad though, but I think it's now a thing where it's like, what? Like, you can't do that now. What? Yeah, okay, so, cool. Pretend, yeah, I'm, I'm saying, like, for example, if it's a girl and she's like, oh, um, like, how, how could I say it? Like, in that scenario, yeah, before you even told your friends, mm. when it's like, oh, like, your girl saying, I'm going out with friends. What? You can't go. And she'll be like, 
what? It's giving controlling. Uh, it's giving very mm. much narcissist behavior. Mm. Do you have a, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Sure. That's, that's how it will be nowadays, bro. Sure. Big man thing. Unless you're in a, you know, a mad zine situation, that's that's what girls most likely see and then, and then they'll step out anyways. Yeah. And then they'll be, you know, hey, that nigga munch. Or that, what's that new tune, that one that Tyron loves, bro? What's that, bro? He's a lion, that one. Oh, that, the Bikini that's Bo- Bo- <laughs> Bro. No, that's not Bikini Bottom. <laughs> it sounds like Bikini Bottom. You're thinking bro. of Ice Spice's other tune. What, Bikini Bottom? Yeah. Is that actually called Bikini Bottom? I think so. That's even worse. Music is at an all-time low. Mm, all-time low. Really. Nah, it's at like all-time low, bro. It's in, it's in the... I don't think it's at all-time low. I think it's a super... There's a superstar of that tune. Mm. Like, that's what I think. I mm. feel like in terms of... Like, if you compare the... Let's say B to C list rappers of now compared to before... I'll say we're very strong, but in terms of like A to this guy could be the potential goat, we're very like poor right now. Do you know what the problem is? No. Drugs. No. Yeah. No, drugs is the problem. DMX is on crack and he was still producing great music. So no, I'm not talking about yeah. drugs for musicians, I'm talking about drugs for listeners. That's the problem. What do you mean? It's like it's like when L S D was invented. So wait, do you think there's a spike in what what are you talking about? <laughs> Oh. It's like when LSD was invented. Okay. In the 70s in America. Yeah. Or maybe even late 60s. Yeah. And then after then, you saw a constant rise every single half decade in protests and people going against the norm. Okay. And it's because these drugs have just expanded people's minds to just think crazy stuff. And is that a point where now people are just like, you know what? fuck it, let's take music with us as well. So now they're promoting all these crazy artists that sound like us and putting them on platforms where they're making it seem like they're a superstar. No. I don't yeah. think, like, for example... It's all them acid niggas. Let's say... I disagree with that. But <laughs> let's say um, Yeet, for example, right? You can think he's us. He's a bit underground, whatever, whatever. Mm. Doesn't really make mainstream music. But he does crazy numbers. Okay. Cool. The one thing about Yeet is it's the same people just streaming it bare. And I wouldn't say, like, you have to listen to Yeet. Like, yeah, I think he released a new album, but I don't feel like everyone was forced to go listen to Yeet. Like, you know there was where DS2 dropped and the world stopped? Because, like, not world stopped, but yeah, no, the I, hip-hop I, I, community I, I was like, we all need to listen to this. Well, cert- there are certain albums there. Mm-hmm. Like, but then it's because... The people you're saying, is you're making it sound as if, like, because the drug-induced fans are, like, popular... No, like you're making this out like the drug induced <clears throat> fans are the ones that are forcing us to listen to certain artists. Like, kind of are. They kind of are. I'm not. Why am I listening? I ain't gonna lie. I spice for president 2026. I hear it, but she's not a good artist, bro. No, she is. She's a good drill rapper. No, nah, I don't. You're know. Not, no, but you're looking at her as an artist. I see her as a drill rapper. It's, what's the difference? Are you not still making art? Music is still an art form. No, but in terms of drill rap, they're different categories until compared to like other forms of rap. Like, I wouldn't compare. Hmm, he's like just a normal like I wouldn't compare Ice Pass to Cardi B of course not but Car- you even can, though no, they had like similar see, beginnings maybe no but you can see Cardi B can do different more variations of rap compared but, to Ice Pass who where she's like pretty much mastered female drill rap I don't know about all that player have you listened to her EP I ain't listening to her EP bro so what, what exactly is your criticism coming from of the tunes that I've been hearing the three tunes I've heard yeah, and what's the problem with them? So you actually think that's good music? I think for what she's trying to do, yeah, that's very good music. But what she's trying to do isn't really great music, though. So No, but she's trying to get the girls to listen to it and for it to be club songs. She's done both. So I, I hear that. In she terms hasn't of, failed anything. No, as so in, as like, in, no, no, no. Because there's a difference between impact and what you're doing. In oh, No, there's a difference between impact mm. and what art you're making. Your art can still be trash and have a great impact mm. and vice versa. Yeah, but... And that's what I'm saying. This what is, I, what this I'm is saying year is, one. Like, I'm not saying she's going to be here for the next 10 years. But I'm and saying, I hope not, unless she improves. She used to say... Yeah, so she... At least give her the space. Like, this is... You're going off a three-song sample. Like, what the hell? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But she's not bad. Like, those three songs aren't bad. <laughs> it's just... Those three songs gave her a name. Those three songs are having a, us speak about her. Bro, it was a meme at first. That's how she blew up. 
No, that song goes hard. It was a meme. Just because something so big doesn't mean like the Roddy Rich the box when he was you know when he was dunking and then Zia and Billy were like stop the care. Yeah, that's a meme. Yeah, but, but the song we, no, 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 we no, no, can no, no. all agree. That's okay, a banger. I, I, I hear that. But Roddy Rich had new season, Die Young, or Cream, yeah, all those tunes I'm, before. So people yeah. already knew this guy was cold. But I Spice had songs before as well. In the drill scene, that's what I'm saying. But it weren't but it weren't great. Otherwise, no. otherwise we would have heard it the same way that they were saying for Pop Smoke, yeah. When I can't what was his um There was me welcome, that we won. It was it was Welcome to the Party, party that yeah. really blew him in it. Yeah. But he had a tape or two tapes before that. And he had cold songs on there that resurfaced after. Yeah, songs. Yeah, yeah, songs you liked, but I wouldn't say. No, no, no. But I'm saying like universally, people were saying that. Oh, you know, some of these tunes are actually kind of cold. Like he was actually like kind of good before that. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say universally. I'll say Pop Un- Smoke's fans. Un- were universally, saying, within the people that were listening to Pop Smoke and that si- that type of music. Yeah, but Ice Spice fans. Who? Why not Ice? Why not meant to be Ice Spice fans? I'm a fan of Ice Spice, but I'm not Ice Spice fan. This guy's listening to Bart. This guy's listening to too much break, bro. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Listen to our songs on mute. That's, 100%. That's, yeah, that, yeah. You I see, don't even know it. You're, not, you're <laughs> not judging it off music, though. You're not judging it off music. No, so, I'm joking, so I'm that's joking, why it's I'm hard joking. to have this conversation with people who do it, like, give her a chance. Like, yeah, no, no, no. You need no. to actually give her a chance, because I don't think she's going to save rap or anything, but I feel like for what nah. she's doing, she's building a certified lane for herself. 100%. Because I feel like someone like, for example, Meg Thee Stallion, who had songs before, I can't remember what her first one that blew up was, Maybe I'm a savage. She had like projects where she was doing the Tina Snow thing and all, and she was actually trying to build a rap discography for herself. Yeah, I hear that. But still, like I don't know. I think it's just a now thing. And people still don't respect. Me- well, people respect her, but like no one's like as excited for Meg the Stallion feature as like I don't know other artists. So I'm, all I'm saying is that there's not a lot of quality out there. There is. I think there is, I think there's something for everybody. No, I'm saying, I'm saying in but terms I don't think there's any superstar that we can all agree is like. Okay. Yeah. Fair point. Because yeah, I feel yeah. like there are enough artists for you to enjoy that I might be like, oh, I don't really like that person. Or, oh, but like, I'm saying like, there's like a unit. Because I feel like with women, if we had like a woman on the show right now, mm-hmm. she'd be like, no, I suppose is amazing. Like who? What? Which one of these male new rappers are like? I th- no, I think having as clear as runners. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. The run is crazy. I'm not even trying to disrespect the run. Mm. I'm just saying the what is behind the run, like the music that is. Yeah. It's not like if you just analyze it as just music. I'm not talking about lanes or trends or whatever. If you just analyze analyze it as music, you will definitely come to terms that it's not. You know, it's, it's not the greatest. No, I think flows wise, she like she knows she has quotables so. That nigga that, again, and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, I, I know. I I'm, know. All I'm saying is, is that she's doing the fundamentals. Whether we like the, we enjoy the fund. She's do. She has the flows, in my opinion. If you listen to her EP, she has. She has flows. True okay. flows. She's got um, quotables. So like things that girls can say. Sometimes even something the man then will be like joking around saying it. Mm-hmm. So you're remembering the quotables from her songs. So what else okay. does she need to do, really? All I'm saying is that I think the fundamentals. Just she's got a personality change. Ish have been changed. Uh, no, actually, I'll say she's got personality. I'll Every time she does an interview, it goes viral. Maybe for the wrong reason, viral, reason <laughs> but it goes viral. So <laughs> she's enough. got enough personality where you're not like, oh, this is paint dry. And all all I'm saying is that the fundamentals, I think, on like every decade has just been changing ever so slightly in terms of what makes good music. And maybe that's a thing that it's just that's just normal and that's just life mm. or whatever. Do you know what I mean? But you can't deny that it's not changing. Yeah, that's why I said there's a lack of a superstar. Okay, then because a superstar will have the quotables, but then they'll be rapping on a J Cole level, but then they'll be putting effort into them. Like I feel like, like Drake, in- like Drake, Drake is the only like real superstar that we really have. If I'm very honest with you. No, but Drake again. This is a 35, 36. I'm talking. Yeah, I know. A, new a fresh. A fra- you know I, mean? I feel like Drake Lil- came up in an era where I feel like if Lil Baby's last album wasn't bad, okay, yeah, Lil Baby's a good example. Would have been touching, but Lil that. Baby's last album wasn't bad though. It wasn't great. It he wasn't just did innovate his flow. Exactly, but I'm saying like, be- if you compare both of those albums, other than singles, they're pretty much the same. Because mm. yeah, I've been listening yeah, to yeah, it a lot. Yeah, yeah, I hear that. I hear that. Because other than Hey, like Hey is a god awful single. <laughs> nah. Like in in a minute is a good song, but mm-hmm. it's not like I thought it was a Lucy. I didn't think it was like it was a Lucy. This is a this is the second and, and single and do, for do my it, album type do, thing. Do you know what it is? Yeah, it's because it's like with my turn, hmm. it was like okay, so this is his flow. Yeah, this yeah. is his flow. Cemented it and whatever. And then it's like next album because he because he was putting out singles and he was doing 
Yeah, you know I mean his singles and his, his features. features, yeah, his features he run was good crazy. run, and he was kind of switching up on the features. So I, I want to say it was switch, more no, like adapting to whatever song. Yeah, so, so yeah, that's what I'm saying. saying. Not so switching up, but it's like you know changing it a little bit yeah, there yeah, and there. Yeah, so yeah. people thinking, okay, he's actually you know starting to evolve as an artist and whatnot. So we're looking forward to the new album because obviously we're gonna expect him to stay you know true to his flow and true to you know what who he is as an artist, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. also bring in some new styles that he's been owning. Mm-hmm. with the features and the singles that he's been dropping but then he dropped the album and it's like my nigga this is the exact same thing as the last album I don't, like, I, in terms it of was, flows it wasn't even the same it was more so like it's, it's like it's like there's, somebody there's, f- there's seven there's 23 songs on that album I think I'll say about six of them copied the flows of better songs on that same album so like you know you could go yeah, on Apple, yeah, Apple yeah, music, yeah, 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 you yeah, could yeah, take yeah. off the songs you don't like mm-hmm. when I look at the songs I like and then the songs I don't like the songs I don't like have the same flows as the other one, but maybe the beat, I just didn't like that one. That's what I'm saying. So I guess and when you're listening to it, you're like, oh, this is boring. And I'm it kind of felt this. like some of those songs could have been on my turn. No, they could just be on any like generic little baby. Exactly. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. it's, it's There's no difference between the two in terms of the flows. And yeah, yeah, I get what you're yeah. Obviously, yeah. The, my turn was probably a bit more raw because he was, you know, at that stage where he had, it was, it was after, um, what was it? The joint tape with him and Gunnar, I can't remember yeah, what it was called. After uh, that, drip hard, drip two. yeah, drip hard or something, or drip season one, <laughs> drip something, Sorry, yeah, 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 drip baby, whatever they call it. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that album was like, okay, this is him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. do you know what I mean? But I don't know, man. I just yeah, yeah. I, I guess he was meant to be like the superstar, next superstar, whatnot, whatnot. But and Gunnar, potentially, but you know, why sell on that? No, I don't think Gunner has like super super stuff. No, but it was like he, he was, was always he was. It's like little baby was here and then Gunner was just here. No, he was a bit lower. Oh here. I'm I'm just saying in terms of like Lil Baby was on track to be a superstar. No, Lil Baby then, was on track to be like when we're talk, like you know how people say, uh, Drake compared to Jay Z or Drake compared to Wade or mm. your Lil Baby was starting to put a discography together where you got yeah, that's compare it. The well, well, discography you, you isn't couldn't couldn't compare it to Drake, but yeah, I get what you mean. No, no, I, I mean after all is said and done, like early Drake, when you compare, yeah, but early Drake. If was you compare different, my early Drake turn, was different. yeah, but that, that's what I'm saying in terms of their career paths, because obviously Lil Baby's not retired yet, mm. but or even like done as many years as Drake has. But exactly, if you compare my turn to let's say Take Care, in terms of everything before it, mm-hmm. like all the work he's put in and stuff, yeah, you'd be like. Okay, you probably say Drake's better, but you'll be like, "Well, baby, can you know?" Okay, he has bangers okay, here and there. In he has terms features. Of, in terms of comparing the, the, stages, the same points in, this, in yeah, their yeah, career, yeah, yeah. you compare. I, you I, can, I hear that, but you were starting to be. Able and to. I feel like, and I feel like, Gunner was also starting to creep up there because no, no, no let's let's okay, be real. Because what was it? Um, Wanna the album mm. was a very good album, mm, okay. and he had put out a lot of good songs before that. Um, what's it? Uh, Top off. What's the other one? Who you think you fooling? All those songs. Oh, okay. Mm. I know it had Baby and Thug on there, but still, like it was a thing where I was like, oh, like people were saying he's better, Baby or Ghana, Baby or Ghana, and it was after that album. But everyone was saying there was whenever you asked that question, it was always like seventy percent Baby at least. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Because because Baby it wasn't is, really a no, conversation. No, 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 it was saying, just that they were next to each other. Yeah, because Baby is better than Ghana. Yeah. But it was like, ooh, that might be a little bit of a tough one. And then when you realize it's like, oh, you know, maybe not as tough, but mm. yeah, they're kind of in the same ballpark. But off, obviously after that album. Baby went here, Ghana still was doing this thing a little bit, but just a bit slower, I'd say, in terms of the acceleration. But yeah, I just don't think Ghana. I think Ghana's like, how do I? I'm trying to say this in a polite way. Like he's got he's got solo songs. I'm not okay, but his best work really comes from features, and when there's other people on it. Like whenever you put Ghana Baby, Ghana Thug, mm. Ghana Baby and Thug, whoever artist, those are probably Ghana's best songs. Or what, that. what's that other one? Lemonade, like when you talk about the bangers of his career, a lot of them mm. I come mean, with other people. So that's why, I, for me, his identity was a bit. It was in terms yeah. of the rap game. It was like, who are you? Like, are you really just like a future new, person or, or a young thug? Yeah, regen or whatever. Like, what what exactly are you? And I feel like DS4 was starting to give him an identity. And then hundred percent, he lost what he lost his um, street cred, kind of. Yeah, so that that affected it. But I don't think he's like that. Mm. He's not. He, he never gave me superstar. It was always like it was like it was like kind of like star. Yeah, yeah. He was a and, sol- and, he was always a solid star. For and, me. and that's why I was saying that it was like kind of like that. Yeah. But um, enough about yes, man. Who do you think? This is gonna be mad to say, but who do you think? You listen to the that way remix, innit? 
Yeah. Who do you think had the worst and the best verse? K Trap. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll be real. So I want to say K Trap had the best verse, but then I feel like there were verses I enjoyed, but I just can't remember. I'll tell you how it went, yeah, because I listened to it before I came in. Um, obviously, Abs crept, yeah. then Back Row G, okay. then French Montana. He had the worst verse. I don't think he did. French Montana, okay, okay. then Clavish, okay. then I think uh, Beanie Man, yeah. then P.A. Sally. No, sorry, I met, I forgot uh, Conan in there somewhere, but yeah, yeah Conan's verse. Um, P.A. Sally, then Bad Band OK, yeah. then Double L's. Double L's um, what's his name? Um, K Trap, to somewhere in there. K Trap, someone, and then Do Road. Yeah. Do Road's verse was a perfect verse to end on, I think. I think like that one was positioned well. That is a terrible song. There were very there were good verses on it. That is a horrible song. The quality just goes in out, in out. Yeah, in, yeah, out. no, it goes in out, in out, in out, in out. But the original song is wavy, yo, wavy. But um, I it's think it's all right. It's all right. Song. Nah, it's, it's it's a thing. Literally, when you analyze it in different settings and you can come to terms, with, yeah, it's no, it's it, a good song. But like, I when we're like, speaking about Kate Corona, we're never gonna speak about that song. We're gonna speak about nah, Robbery. Yeah, we're gonna talk about Robbery and some others. But yeah, I, we're I, never I, gonna. Speak. I get what you mean. I get. It's, what it's mean. a good Kate <clears throat> Corona song. It's not like. No, nah, but it's, it's a little wave, isn't it? It's a little wave. But um, I think. You had the best verse. Clavish's verse was clean. I guess. Clavish. I just can't remember anything. <laughs> like, none of them gave me, like, any quotables or anything. Like, K-Trap mm. was the closest one-ish. I was like, K-Trap had the best verse. I don't know. But, yeah, what were you saying about Clavish? No, nah, Clavish's verse was clean. Like, yeah. obviously, he's drill slash a bit of grime, I grime. guess. Grime. <laughs> no, nah, because I was listening to his tape. Um, I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember what it's called. Well, the latest one. Yeah, listen to the latest one. And well, it was Rap Game Awful. Rap Game Awful. Um, and it was like, one of the teens on there gave me grime vibes and I couldn't remember what it was. Which teen? That's what I'm saying, I can't remember. <laughs> I'm to think. It, gave, what, it gave me grime What the vibes. hell was this guy listening to? Because I didn't hear one teen, I thought, mm, grime. No, 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 no. It's, it's not like the whole song was grime. I said it gave me no, grime vibes. No, I didn't even vibes. get vibes. I, I, it gave I, me grime vibes. That's yeah, an yeah, interesting yeah. conclusion. Not as like old grime, I was talking about like the new grime that they call it or whatever. <laughs> Okay. Do you know what I'm talking about? I'm just, I'm just. Kidding. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I don't, I don't want the it's, style of. It's, it's, it's hard to, ex- it's hard to explain. <laughs> no, I wanted to get your opinion on that um, because I was like, it's kind of crazy getting. What was it twelve man? Yeah. On one team. Yeah. Like, it, it was kind of like. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be a song. No, but I feel like the UK has been like getting worse at remixes as time goes on. You're not you're not completely wrong, you know. You're not completely wrong because I think K Trap kind of flopped with that one remix, you know. Because <laughs> listen, to what I'm saying. Finally, because he, I wanted to say it, but obviously there's a lot of skepti fans out there. So I was like, no, like skeptics Skepta did well, but it was like, what do you mean, like just Skepta? Like you had Tef there, <laughs> you had Chip there, you had I swear, uh, I swear. Before we get some slander. No, 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 no. <laughs> I like, it was, the guard, my bad. No, no, no. Like, <laughs> No, like it was like it was an all right verse. It wasn't great, but it wasn't awful. It was like okay, but yeah, but you could have had a smaller artist on there, and it would have been better. Potentially, yeah. yeah. But I'm saying if you had if you had like three guys on there, then it, at least it would have given it. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. Warm obviously came out what two years ago, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, start of like 2020. And then it started popping off 2021, 20. No, it's no 2022. Start, no, it started. It came out start of 2021. They started popping off for 2022. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then so the obviously came out late 2020. A year later, it's got in this hype and whatnot. So everyone's like, okay, remix time. And it's like, oh yeah, Tef. Uh, I think they were saying Chip something about crap, Chip. I was like, can't lie. Would have done bits on it. Yeah. You know, everyone knows when it comes to a remix and you have Chip on there, you already know you're getting a hard verse. Okay. Let's be real here. Okay. Well, what's something that comes to mind? Into you remix. Okay. Jumpy remix. Okay. Um, And he did... The the gets one, what was that? Um you're done already remix. Okay, okay. He, do you know what I mean? Like he, he shells remixes. So when we saw the chip in the video mm. or in the little teaser thing, mm. I was like, oh what Skepta, Chip, Tef? Yeah. This could be cold. Yeah. And then it's just Skepta. It's like yeah. I mean, I know he's a goat and everything, but No, nah, the verse wasn't like that good for it to just be him. Type. Yeah, that, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. But I don't know, man. I think maybe it's just because he is the goat or like one of the goats. Yeah, I wanted to ask since like people have been speaking about it a lot. 
<clears throat> they've been discussing the goat of UK rap, doing UK rap lists. So I wanted to do a little one for us. So, like, just to our top five rappers. Oh, thank God you said five. Yeah. So it's gonna be an out cheer list. Okay. But we're each gonna give three suggestions, and I'm gonna time it. So you're gonna have to make a case for whoever you choose. Oh, okay. And I'm gonna give because we're running a bit short on time. A minute and 30 seconds to make your case for whoever. For each artist, yeah? Yeah. Do you want to go first or should I go first? You go first. You go first. All right, cool. So I'm starting it in three, two, one. So the first artist I'm going to give out their flowers to is Heady One. Heady One is... Oh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Sorry. One sec. Oh. You're, I'm going to give you time after the one minute 30 to give me a rebuttal. Yeah. Right. yeah and yeah, then okay. I'll give a one last point. All right, cool. So Heady One... Arguably the greatest drill artist of all time. Arguably the greatest drill duo of all time. He has tapes that are classics. Street, I would say Drillers and Trappers 1 is a street classic. I would say Drillers and Trappers 2 is just a classic. You can argue with whoever you want, but dig that on the T's verse. A lot of people, a lot of people still play those songs today. Mm. And that's one of the things I would say about Heady One is he has, actually has longevity. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. he also has tunes that are popping off today. Martin So Far, another successful campaign. The most we give Central C the praise for marketing and all that stuff. Martin so far was able to keep momentum and people were still about to care about it for like, what, five, six months. So 50s was a trend on TikTok, crazy. <sighs> 50s. And I would say as well with Heady One, he's able to rap with other rappers. He's got a tune with Drake and people are arguing who had the better verse. One of the greatest lyricists we've ever seen and he's or arguing if Heady One had the best verse. He brought melodies into Drill the way I've never seen done before. Like, obviously there's Abracadabra and other, there's loads of people who brought melodies into Drill. Mm, but mm, when mm. you say who's the best at doing it, you'll probably say Heady One. Like, he was just doing it consistently. Mm-hmm. The one mixtape, <sighs> one of the best Drill tapes of all time. And the thing is, I'm a man who loves tapes, but he has bangers. Along. Freestyles, crazy, crazy. That Link Up TV one, <laughs> crazy. I, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. That's a solid argument, bro. I have no, I have no, no rebuttal, no rebuttal for that. That's crazy. You so know, yeah. Heady One. Because when I was thinking about my list earlier, I was like, it's mad because I was just thinking about pure rap. Yeah, yeah Heady yeah. One didn't even come into my mind for some reason, bro. And if you think about it, he raps with like he has that song on End Up with Skepta, uh, bro. He even has that tune in the future. Like he raps with other rap. So obviously <clears throat> he come, he come, he came out of drill. Whatever, whatever. You want to say he's just a drill rapper, fine. He's not just a drill rapper. But if mm. you're rapping with other rappers at a high level, then what does that say? You're, you're a rapper like them. Yeah. And he can do the... My last point, he could do the... What's it called? Princess Cuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he could do the... He was on Afro Swing with um, Belly Squad. Like, he That's could you. do... Yeah. Missing. So... Oh, shit. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I hear that. He could do a lot. Okay, yeah, 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 I can't, I can't argue that, you know. All right, cool. You know, I'm gonna say my one, yeah. Yeah. So timer starts. Actually, say the name and then I'll start the time. Skepta. All right, go. Skepta is one of the goats in UK music because it's not even a thing where, like, I, I just think it's just universal and people don't really talk about Skepta whenever they're talking about best rappers in the UK because it's like you should know already. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? The guys come from grime when back in the day, with like. Grime, his grime tapes, yeah. Mm. Of, it's not even tapes. When he was doing freestyles, bro. Mm. I'm talking Tim Westwood. I'm talking about all these ciphers. When he was doing Fire in the Booth, bro. It was like, sorry, not even Fire in the Booth. Um, Radio 1. Crazy ciphers, again, with rappers. Your your favourite rapper's favourite rapper. Mm. Like, it's crazy what he was doing. Even when it comes to, like, um, the whole group BBK. And then him and Jamie had a little... And when we're talking yeah. about classic songs of the UK, there's no way... Like, over the last 10 years, you can't go without mentioning That's Not Me. You mm. can't go without mentioning Shut Down. Mm. Man, even. Mm. You can't even go about, um, what do you call it? Uh, the BBK song, uh, Need Some More Girls mm-hmm. In Here. Yeah, do you yeah. know what I mean? He's transitioned from that to then be able to say, you know what, yeah, I'm not just a grime rapper. Mm. I can just do rap. Mm. He's done that with his tapes. We've mm. seen it. Microphone Champion. We've seen it with Konnichiwa. We've seen it with Grease Mode. Mm. And then he's even gone to America with the New York niggas and been like, you know what? He's been like, you know what? It's not just a UK thing. Mm. I can do this wherever. Mm. And then he's linking up now with Afrobeat artists, with Wizkid, with Rema, mm. with other people, and he's just shelling it consistently. Mm. There's no way. If there was a Mount Rushmore for Grime, um, for UK music, Skepta's face is right there. Sure, Cemented. Sure. Do you know what is? Uh, I thought you were going to say something else, so I was ready to argue, but no. 
I'm, I've got no argument for Skepta. So my next artist is going to be. Should I say an obvious name? No. Well, he is kind of obvious. Young Ads. So Young Ads is a part of probably one of the greatest duos to come <coughs> out of this country. You okay. can say Crypto Conan, mm-hmm. but DB have done a lot since they've been here. Mm-hmm. And if you think about it as well, Young Ads, a lot of people tried the American sound, but now we can say definitively we have our own kind of version of that, but it's Young Ads' sound. And people will say, oh, Young Fumes did this, Young Fumes maybe was the first one, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. But who did it successfully? That's the most important thing. Whose history going to probably remember as making the bangers on bangers on bangers? Because Young Fumi has bangers, mm, hello bangers. But Young Ads can actually rap rap. He's done, he's perfected Young Fumi's style as well. And Young Ads is probably one of the greatest hook makers our country's ever seen as well. You got the song with LD. Bang. God. You've got his own tunes. <laughs> You've got his own tunes. The guy could. And we, you just spoke about Skepta. Uh. He brought three goats together. <laughs> three goats together. <laughs> he brought Skepta brought himself. He brought Chip, who's another goat of the UK rap scene, and he brought Young Ads. And did Young Ads get carried in that track at all? Or that album at all? Mm-hmm. No, because Young Ads is meant to be there. He sold out the O2. That's one of the metrics we usually say is a superstar mm. in this country. Selling, Selling out, out the O2 yeah. multiple dates. And obviously, you gotta give that back. LB his praise. Hundred percent. But young ads can rap, rap. He could do the melodic thing. He could do it all, mate. You know, you know what? I don't have, I don't have a complaint. But at first when he said it, I was like, mm, young ads. But now reminiscing, like even I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not even trying to rub out DBE's thing. Mm. But even without DBE, young ads can still do it. Yeah. Because you know, te- uh, teams like press the button. Like it's a lot of the time. Sometimes it will just be a young ads tune, and then Derba LB will come and be. Was like, it Man in the Mirror? I think. Yeah. F- <sighs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're running out of time, guys. All if right. you enjoyed that, let us know. We'll continue it. Yeah. That was only three rappers. Let me, let me do one more. So, okay, yeah, two, okay, I'm okay. going to do one more, yeah. Um, I'm going to say Chip. Okay. Chip, I feel like... I'll do a, one minute for you. Go, 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 go. I feel like Chip gets a lot of disrespect, you know, because people just see him as someone who's always trying to start beef mm. or someone who only sends for people. But let's not disrespect Chipmunk, yeah? Mm. Like, I'm even saying Chipmunk because mm. that is... That's who I grew up on, Chipmunk. Yeah, I know a lot of you men grew up on Chip, and but no, Chip Diddy Chip, Oopsie Daisy, Diamond Rings. That's who I grew up on. Do you know what I mean? I'm talking about the boy with Ice Kid when he was 15 or 16 years mm. old, shelling it down. Mm. Like, I don't think you understand. To shell a Tim Westwood, mm. not a lot of grime men could do that on the day. Yeah. One take, by the way. Mm. He did that at 16. With, with Wiley right there. I'm looking, mm. like, everyone knows Wiley's a godfather in this thing. Mm. And... It's just, it's just crazy, bro. Yeah. When it comes to disses, he handled what, like six man at once. Mm. When he was, uh, what do you call it, going against Bugsy, Tiny, uh, young Devil man. man, Young and Big Nasty, some other youths, bro. Dusted all of them. Mm. Man said, "You send a diss within twenty four hours. I'm writing a fresh diss for you." Young and made a diss mm. pre recorded. He said, what? All right, cool. What is it? 4 a.m. Man went petrol station and shelled it. Mm. At Shell. He shelled it at Shell. <laughs> and then also, sorry. Could and I'm going over. But also, people forget, Chip is one of the first UK rappers to go over America and actually make them realise what we're doing over here. Because he was supposed to sign with YMCMB mm. in their peak. Mm. Little Wayne himself said, I want this brother. Mm. But obviously, certain things happened. He went with TI's group instead. And at the time, T.I. was popping. Mm. People can't forget it. Even at the scene of Chris Brown, champion, bruv. Let's update the playlist. Bro, Chip is a goat. Chip yeah. is a goat, man. See, ah, oh, bro, I swear down. He's the goat. <laughs> but um, I'm going to add Faithful by Common. Oh, okay. I'm going to add... I'm going to add... What song about this? I don't know, you know. What scene have I been banging? Oh, wait. There's one with Clavis that I was just listening to the other day. Um, Let It Rip with Kowali. Yeah, it's a little remix still. It's a nice little 50 Cent type of beat. But that has been the Outchair Podcast. Guys, if you're listening on Spotify, Apple, be sure to give us a review and a nice little rating. God damn, God damn. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been the Outchair Podcast. Mids and B. J to the Izzo. And we out of here. We out of here. See you.
Oh, yeah.